Welcome to another edition of Rants with Big Jim. Hope you're enjoying the show. I like the dogs did. They had a fun time. And I actually met some friends myself at that time. You can get rid of the little side there. There we go. Oh, we got a close-up shot. Quack. Little quackler. Uh, Dr. Phillips. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that at you every time. If you don't stop trying to get me to get some kind of thing going there, and you know what? You, you really are a little bit fishy in my eyes, Dr. Phillips. Okay? You can have that lobster. And don't send it back to me either. This is a tiger. I'm going to hang on to him because I think one way or another they're endangered species. Let's, let's, let's get on. Listen, I want to talk to you a little bit about ranting. For all you kids who survived the 1930s through the 70s, okay, we're going to take a little tour on what's different, okay, than what they are nowadays. First, we survived being born to mothers who may have smoked or drank while they were pregnant. That's right, it actually happened and, and there wasn't really much education out there on it. Next. They, the mothers took aspirin, they ate blue cheese dressing, tuna from a can, and they never really got tested for diabetes. Then after that trauma, we were put to sleep on our tummies in baby cribs covered with bright colored lead-based paints. It actually happened back then, I'm telling you. We survived. We had no childproof lids on medicine bottles, locks on doors or cabinets, and we rode our bikes, we had baseball caps, not helmets on our heads. Well, I kind of agree that it's a good thing they wear helmets nowadays. As infants and children, we would ride in cars with no car seats, no booster seats, no seat belts, no airbags, bald tires, and sometimes no brakes. You thought, you thought it was easy being brought up in, in my day? Riding in the back of a pickup truck on a warm day was always a special treat. Can't try that now. And we drink water from the garden hose, not from a bottle. Didn't cost you a buck for that garden hose drink either. We, we shared one soft drink with four friends from one bottle, and no one actually died from sharing that bottle. We ate cupcakes, white bread, real butter, and bacon. We drank Kool-Aid, and, and we had real white sugar, and we weren't overweight. Why? Because we were always outside playing. That's why. We would leave home in the morning and play all day, as long as we were back when the streetlights came on. No one was able to reach us all day, and you know what? We were okay. We would spend hours building our go-karts out of scraps and then ride them down the hill, only to find out we forgot about the brakes. After running into the bushes a few times, we learned to solve that problem. We, we did not have, well, I'm losing my, my, my concentration here. You know, I, I don't do scripts, but when I rant, I like to have little notes. Now, we didn't have PlayStations, Nintendo, and Xboxes. There were no video games, no 150 channels on cable. No movie videos, DVDs, no surround sound CDs, no cell phones either. No personal computers, no internet, no chat rooms. <laughs> we had friends and we were outside and we found them and they found us and we had a grand time. Fresh air. We fell out of trees, we got cut, we broke bones and teeth and there were no lawsuits from those accidents. Yeah, it just happened, you know. We would get spankings with wooden spoons, switches, ping pong paddles, or just a bare hand. And no one would call child services to report the abuse. We ate worms and mud pies made from dirt, and the worms did not live in us forever. When we were given BB guns for our 10th birthdays, that's right, <laughs> on our 10th birthday, I, it was always the 10th birthday, BB guns and sticks and tennis balls. And although we were told it would happen, we really didn't put out too many eyes. You know, that was just a saying 
So we rode bikes and walked into a friend's house and knocked on the door or rang the bell. Or sometimes we just walked in to talk to him. Little League had no tryouts, and everybody made the team. Those who didn't, <clears throat> they had to learn how to deal with disappointment. Imagine that. Yeah. The idea of a parent bailing us out if we broke the law was unheard of. They actually sided with the law. These generations have produced some of the best risk-taker, risk problem-solvers, and inventor, inventors ever. Well, I'm not an inventor, but I'm definitely a risk-taker. The past 50 to 85 years have seen an explosion of innovation and new ideas. We had freedom, failure, success, and responsibility, and we learned how to deal with it all. Now, if you're one of those born between 1925 and 1970, congratulations. You might want to share with others who have had the luck to grow up as kids before the lawyers and the government regulated so much of our lives for their own good. Okay? And while you're at it, let the kids know how brave and lucky their, their parents were. Okay? Kind of makes you want to run through the house with scissors, doesn't it? Uh, here's a quote. Here's the best quote that kind of describes this all, and it was Jay Leno. With hurricanes, tornadoes, fires out of control, mudslides, flooding, severe thunderstorms, tearing up the country from one end to another, and with the threat of bird flu and terrorist attacks, are we sure this is a good time to take God out of the Pledge of Allegiance? This has been Rants with Big Jim. Watch us on Community Corner with Big Jim. Friday nights at 8 o'clock. We re-air at midnight and noon. And we're also on ACTV23.com. So all I can say to that is stay in touch. Where's Henry? <laughs> stay in touch with who? Henry and all of us? <laughs> And keep it real.